So I got an email. Harley, please do a video. William Davis, the author of the book, Wheat Belly. Lose the weight, lose the weight. Now, William Davis, sure he's a nice guy, but he's another fatty, low carber writing a book to make money on what's trending on Amazon, which is low carb diets telling noobs good things about their bad habits. Now, I just got out of bed and instantly I'm like, these guys just got no idea. Cars make you fat. Look at that. Visible fat. 12 years. <laughs> Cars make you fat. Look at all that body fat on all those, just covering all my muscles there. All that fat just fucking dripping off my body, you know? <laughs> all that fat on the left arm too, just all fat there. Ripped with fat. Marbled with fat from all that high carbohydrate diet. Look at my face, you can't even see my jaw bones. Just covered in fat. All that fat. Can you see my legs? All that fat covering them. These guys like William Davis have no fucking idea, do they? Cars make you fat. I don't know about that. So let's break this book down now. Let's get serious. William Davis says, eat carbohydrates. Carbs turn to sugar. Sugar turns to fat. You eat carbs, you get obese. Just like Duranida. And freely. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try and get freely in a bikini up your head on or something, but maybe next video. A.K. William Davis. I'll buy you a ticket to China. We'll go to China and travel together, and then we'll go to Kenya and travel together. We'll ride our bikes around. You might have to eat some carbs, so you've got the energy to do that. And you, you explain to me why these Asian and African societies are so lean, yet they're eating wheat as their staple carbohydrate source. They're eating corn or barley or bananas as the majority of their caloric staple sources cooked or raw doesn't matter carbs is what we need carbs make you slim so william let's travel i'll pay everything and all i want you to do is make it and is feature on one of my youtube videos and then you're going to have to write a book and go actually i was wrong carbs i went to uh, on a holiday with durin rider and i fucking lost a lot of weight because i was eating durin rider's diet I got fit as fuck, because now I had the energy to actually train. I got all fucking toned and shit, because I could actually train, instead of just being a fat, low carber man. They don't know after being lean, because they're still fat themselves. They don't have to tell them the truth, because they just want to make money selling bullshit. Straight up. I'll put a link down below to a video, which demonstrates the truth again. In a simple, one minute, two minute format, low carb authors equal Fat. There's a couple on steroids and doing human growth hormone and you know intermittent fasting every second day. But who the fuck wants to take drugs to get lean or skip meals? Me? I don't want to fucking do drugs because I've done that shit and it's fucked up health wise. Long term, you have come downs and shit. You cycle off testosterone, you feel shit. Human growth hormone makes your gut grow bigger, makes your jaw all fucked up. Intermittent fasting? Who the fuck wants to do that? Skip meals? Skip skip days of eating, man. Not me, man. I love my food. I fucking love to eat. Lean, clean food. Carbs for the win. I want to have energy, man. Energy to live. That's what I want to have. And I don't do much sport because I'm on the computer answering all your emails. Not all the time, but can't always get back to them. There's so freaking many. And because I live a pretty sedentary lifestyle relative to to what I would if I wasn't working 70 hours a week behind the computer. I need foods that keep me lean and light for cycling and running when I get the chance to do those sports. If I was loading up on animal protein, animal fat, I'd be as fat as William Davis, and I couldn't do shit. It's enough in person against William Davis, but mate, you're full of shit, your book's full of lies, you contradict yourself all the time, you say cars make you fat, and then you forget about China and India and all these nations that live on carbohydrates four to five times a day. And they're not starving. They're getting them as ample calories. The Okinawans, you said that they get 80% of their calories from animal protein. Here's a picture here. Okinawans, look at that. 1% or less of animal calories coming from their diet, man. <laughs> less than 1%. And you're saying they eat mostly animal product. So again, it's glaring. It's like the freaking elephant in the telephone booth, man. You're tripping. You're tripping. You, you've gotten ketoacidosis and your brain's starting to melt. You've probably got pork worm in your brain from eating all that pork. It's enough in person, but William, 
if you want to get lean, lean and fit, <laughs> get on the high carb program. Check out the video below in the description and done. Judge by results, not by theory. Just because someone's fat doesn't make them a bad person, but I wouldn't go there for them for health and fitness advice. Thanks for watching.